Tuesday morning, time for a little edge test. Um, I'm trying also something which uh, the wonderful Jax in uh, South Africa uses, which is why not put a little bit of pre-shave on using your favourite soap. Rub it in before lathering. Just gives you a few seconds of, uh, of extra pre-shave. I'm straight out the shower because I spent the last, uh, well, I don't know, early morning anyway, um, putting new edges on Gary's test razors. Um, I felt they were a little bit over sharp for me. Um, they had a concave edge, concave bevel, um, which hadn't fully refined out the final edge. I think the final edge was just a little bit sharp. So um, I put one onto a translucent Arkansas, so it's got a translucent edge, and the other one onto a, a surgical black Arkansas. So that'll be interesting. I didn't actually bother putting them onto a pasted strop afterwards, which Gary often does. And I must say that it does give very much uh, enhanced results. But I thought, let's just try what a, a natural, very hazy edge looks like, which under the microscope it was. It's a, a beautiful hazy edge from the Arkansas and see uh, if there's any improvement for me. Uh, this is purely subjective testing. I mean, a lot of people might say, why did you do that? Especially after Gary went to all the trouble. This is for mostly for, for Jeff's benefit um, to see what he prefers, a synthetic edge or a natural edge. Um, I'm fairly ambivalent. I get on fine with synthetic edges, so what do I know? Anyway, let's try uh, this little beast is a 5'8 Carrera, and this one has a translucent Arkansas edge on it now, without any extras to it. As you can hear, oh, this is on three days worth of stubble, by the way. Oh, that's very nice. Very gentle. Yeah. Mind you, coming out the shower probably makes a difference. So that's, uh, let's do a first pass on this side of my mush. I've got to say, that translucent edge is lovely. As you can see, it's, uh, it's taken off a, a fair bit of gudge. Ugh. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you dark bristles because I haven't got any dark bristles, very few. Um, this is grey mostly. Anyway, as a counterblast, here we are. This is the crop, and this one again, this is a sixth eight, and um, exactly the same stropping. Both of them being stropped identically. Um, straight after the stones, I always use canvas, but you don't have to, obviously. Uh, and then the usual number of laps on fine leather. Uh, but remember, I haven't touched them as far as uh, uh, a reset bevel goes. They didn't need it. They've been done by Gary. Now this one, this crop, this 6.8, I did about 150 laps with oil on a black surgical Arkansas. Oh, you can hear that's cutting well. As I've said, and I keep repeating, these are subjective tests. I'm fresh out the shower. I did uh, a few laps across my face with a brush, just a wet brush. Tiny little bit of um, pre-shave from the uh, Jella, which is very kind. I like I like Jella. Jella soap lava as well. But it's got almond oil in it. Seems to make a difference. Anyway, that's the first pass. 
gotta say, pretty pleased with that. That's a um, a black Arkansas edge, and uh, I say I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Did a good job. Um, as a counterblast, this is probably a, a silly thing to do. Uh, I'm going to keep this video short, by the way. I want to go out and post and I want to post a razor back up to Gary. Anyway, um, just as a counterblast to all this, I'm going to do another trick which I've learned. You should always listen to the masters of the business. This is a trick from Jacks. Dapper Shaves, wonderful channel, absolutely wonderful. He has the same level of experience as Gary, and uh, that is really saying something. Anyway, that was adding a little bit of water to your brush to hydrate and bring up a finer lather. So, that's one rather nice lather. Now, haha, just as a counterblast, here is a very beautiful Ralph Aust. Now this one, this razor, is a little unusual in as much as although it, it is a hollow, in every sense of the word, which I love, although she's a full hollow, it's a slightly stiffer hollow than, than I would prefer normally. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, hasn't got that sing. Doesn't ring quite the same. Cuts well. But it's just, I, I really like an extreme hollow, given a choice. But anyway, let's uh, progress with this one. This is only a comparison. This is uh, one of the sort of Rolls Royce of custom razors. The, uh, the gentleman that makes these is renowned for his precision. I think most people would, would say that was an absolute joy, but I have had better. Yeah, don't particularly rate that. So as a comparison, that was a seven eighths razor. This is a comparison try. Gary's crop with uh, my black Arkansas against the grain. Hmm, actually. Virtually identical. If anything, the feel of the little crop. I, I, I prefer 7 8 normally. In fact, I prefer 8 8 But I would still say this little crop is doing a very fine job. What a lovely lather with this uh, cello. It's, um, I'm not here to recommend things. This is purely a edge and blade testing channel. I know very little about lather. What I do know is I've tried quite a few, a lot kindly sent to me for my edification from uh, young Gary. <laughs> and um, yeah, I would honestly say, everybody has a different taste, but I would say that the cello is a kind soap. Anyway, quickly go to the, uh, our other little friend here. This is the, uh, Carrera. Uh, this is um, a bit of an unknown for me. It's just got Carrera number 877. So I'm, I'm not sure where it hails from. But it's a 58. Very nice. Very nice. Nothing wrong with that. Let me dry my hands for a sec. It's uh, bordering on the kamikaze to go shaving with wet fingers. Yeah, well, they both pass the test perfectly. I think if Jeff was to shave with either of these two, he's going to have a bloody lovely shave. So, they've passed the test. 5 eighth Carrera 
on a translucent Arkansas. And this is a 6 8 crop and uh, Sheffield grazer. And this has been on a black Arkansas. Very little between them. I'm, I'm happy with either. So I hope Jeff will see this and try them. Anyway, chaps, that'll do for now. 10 minutes of my nonsense is enough for anybody. Uh, but as I say, there's a few tips. Thank you very much, uh, Jacques. Of course, all these little tips, like um, wetting your face properly, adding water to your brush, getting a better lava, uh, and, and stropping, of course. Very good tips. And again, thanks so much to Gary. Without him, we are lost. Sayonara.